Hey everybody, welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents for your document um, using Microsoft Word 2007. Now we have created our book and we want to upload this to create space. And um, proper etiquette of having a book, you, you must have a table of contents. And of course, it's a physical book we are doing here for create space. And that book must have um, table of table of contents, the title of each chapter, and um, with a page number associated with, with that page number. So we're going to create that today. In my last video, I did one, and I did the table of contents, and I did it the old way. I totally forgot that uh, we could do that feature very, very easy with Microsoft Word. So let me show you how we, how we do that very easily. Okay, so I have here my book title, my um, copyrights area here. I have a blank page followed by the actual contents of my book introduction. <clears throat> And different chapters so the first thing we need to do we have to identify let um, Microsoft Word know which um, part of the document we want to have in any table of contents so of course we have introduction um, self-assessment and we also have lower down we have job hunting skills and um, prep your cover letter and resume and so forth right so what I'm gonna do I'm going to highlight introduction and just we are we are into the whole menu bar here. I'm going to hit on heading number one, and um, that will change to that particular. You will see it will change that particular font. The font as it's saying is Arial rounded, empty bowl size 16. Now, if you want to change that, you can. All right. So let's go into styles down here. Click on the arrow to the right, and we come down here. We want to manage that style. Okay, so right now we're seeing here, this is heading number one, and this is the font, name of the font, and it's size is 16. Now, let's say we want to change that. Just click on modify. Let's say I'm going to use, um, I'm going to come up, come up here, I'm going to use a plain Arial font. Let's see. Um, let's go to Arial. Let's use Arial here. Arial, I'll leave the size 16. It's a bold. I'll just leave it straight, as simple as that. Okay. And here we have the text justified. We leave it like that. And we say OK. And that's it. That is the settings for heading number one. OK. So you'll do the same thing. I'll just close off here. Do the same thing for the rest of the different headings, chapter headings. I'll do the same thing. Just go into self assessment. Click on head, heading number one. And you see automatically change to Arial size 16. This is so much easier than having to go and do the same thing. Click on the font size, type, font size for each chapter. It'll take a little while, but you know, this is so much easier. So I'm going to jump hunting skills. Click on heading number one. Prep your cover letter and resume. Click on heading number one. Okay, I'll just do this last one so you can see exactly. Heading number one. Okay, good, lovely. So now I'm going back up to the I'm going back up to the blank page like I told you about before, this area here. And this is where we're going to insert the table of contents. So to do that, we go back up to your menu bar up here and click on reference. And we see we have table of contents area here. So click on that. What I like to do, I like to actually you could just do it from here. This is a basically easy way to do it. Just click on table of contents. We have different templates here. Automatic table number one, number two, number three. I like to use number some automatic table number two. So I'll click on that. Oops, it's in the wrong place. Let me undo that. And just go back to the actual spot I wanted to be inserted into. I'm going to click on that area, that spot there, table of contents, and click on automatic table number two. There you go. Okay. So here's the table of contents. Very, very easy. It has the name of the each name of the each chapter and the page number associated with that chapter, the title, table of contents, everything is nice and smooth. And if you make any changes to your table of contents and you want to update this, it's very simple. You just go to well, actually it should be in this area here. I just simply click on update table and it will tell you if you want to update the entire table you'll say yes click on the update entire table 
click on that and you're good to go. It's very, very simple. And let's go back a bit into, if you want to make any changes, let's go into, um, let me show you something else. Let me undo that. Okay. So let's go to table of contents again and let's do insert table this time. Let's go into more technical stuff here. If you wanted to change, um, let's say, you know, like after the table of contents, the name of the chapter, you have a dot, 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 and then you have a page number. If you want to change the dots to maybe something different, you have like a dashed line or whatever, you could change that here. Let me just go back. You have on the tab leader, you click on that drop down arrow and you choose, you can actually, you can, if you don't want to have anything at all, you click on none, you can click on the dots, the dashes, or like a, a, under, like a underscore sort of lining, okay? You can make your changes here. Now, if you don't want to have any page numbers, you click on here, show page numbers, click on that, you get nothing. And you actually, you see like a preview here. So in this area here, you could actually, actually do more, um, more, for, more customizing of your table of contents. So I will cancel this. And I'll just go back to the simple one, table of contents. I'm going to click on automatic table number two. And there you have it. A simple table of contents, very easy to do. All right. All right. I hope that helps you. Um, if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, feel free to leave a comment in the description box below. If this, if this video has been very helpful to you, I, it'd be nice if you could like the bit, like the, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do more of these type of videos for you guys to help you out with your publishing your books on Create Space or maybe on Kindle too as well. Or even so, this information could be good to informat in this book for or maybe for a project at school or anywhere, you know. So it's very, very helpful. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.